So Sweetie was a rescue dog and no matter how many times I have tried to condition her to public places and other things, she's still an extremely anxious dog, but I decided to take her and she didn't do too bad. I mean, she's fine with other people and everything. It's just that she would kept trying to pull away to like go back out the store. <laughs> but I need to do this more with her. But anyways, it wasn't too far from the park we just came from, and so I was like, this is a perfect time to see what kind of plants they have. I am wanting to get something else for my outdoor landscaping, especially in the backyard, in the beds where there's empty spots, but not sure exactly what I want aside from daylilies and I didn't see any daylilies here however honestly I was looking more at the house plants but <laughs> that's something I plan on doing every time I see Adam Sony eyes I'm always tempted even though I have a whole bunch <laughs> but sweetie likes them too The plants they were actually in good condition, nice and healthy. Oh, that Calathea pinstripe, so beautiful. You can never go wrong with a Syngonium, and for only $15, and for that size of a plant, I think that was a really good deal. They had quite a few, and then I'm not sure the name of the one on the left, what variety of Calathea that is, but it was really pretty. I was so tempted to get it, y'all. You know how I feel about Calatheas, but honestly, I see one in my near future. <laughs> And these half decent aglanemas, more syngoniums, some palms. And I've noticed, I'm not sure the grower of these specific plants in these pots, but they're always $14.98. And you'll see the same exact plant in a Costa Farms pot and a ceramic pot for $19.98, which is still a good deal. But sometimes the one in the other pot. Um, I would go for but I'm seeing it more and more A sea of monsteras is a beautiful sight so this location, this Home Depot, as you can see, they had a whole bunch of plants. They were definitely not lacking anywhere. Fun fact, I'm not a fan of these Sansevierias because of the yellow variegation outline. They're still pretty, but I prefer the ones that don't have it. Those beautiful um, Aglaonema sapphires, some what, moonlight, which were actually decent and healthy. And the mosaics. I had a Calathea mosaic, and she's in quite heaven. And this palm, thirty dollars. It was so big. I have my medium-sized palm, but that one, yeah, it was tempting. And as you see, I see a lot of things are tempting. All the plants are tempting, but I'm trying to do better. I'm very satisfied with my collection now. And honestly, it's if I see something that I just really, really want versus just want it just because, but have more of a reason if that makes sense. And yeah, sweetie was mad at me because <laughs> I was telling her to sit down. And this beautiful, what, philodendron lemon lime, or it says a hybrid. That was really pretty. And then, y'all, these propagation jars, um, 
I think they were like for $19.98 for a freaking piece of glass and a stem cutting in water. I know it's retail and they mark up stuff, but my goodness. It was extremely hot and sweetie, sweetie kept pulling me. And so I was like, okay, we're, we're just leaving. <laughs> I didn't get anything, but I am gonna have to come back um, without my daughter. Love you, sweetie. And um, like those syngonians, very tempting, but I don't know, we'll see. So the next stop was to pick up Remy from the groomer. She's looking all spiffy. And I love whenever she gets her little fresh mohawk. So we always keep it long, but <laughs> I love it after a cut cause then it like sticks up more. And she thinks she's cool. And that is Remy just being Remy. And do y'all remember when I planted this? My goodness, look at her. Well, the sweet potato vine has obviously exploded. The other babies. Um, yeah, but look how, <laughs> how much fuller it is. So here is my strawberry plant that I thought was a goner. I had it inside and I put it out here. I was going to toss it and look. Look what it's giving me, so many babies. And then those small ones are um, watermelon and cantaloupe. And this is a pepper, a sweet banana pepper I think. And this one, I don't remember. <laughs> and the blue cone trees are doing absolutely beautiful just fine I'm yeah I'm starting to get more into the outdoor space and also do y'all remember when I planted those caladium bulbs well um look who popped out so I planted four bulbs total and as of now well this video only two out of the four have came up however currently three of the bulbs have came up one just came up like last week so I'm very happy about that and then this as well has exploded. I need to cut those dead daisies off, but it's doing really well. <laughs> 